artificial intelligence, machine learning, blockchain, and cryptocurrency or financial technologies are very, very important. Biotechnology is another area. Microelectronics and next generation uh, communications and quantum computing. Those are sort of the big five that we're thinking about these days. It's absolutely critical that we keep an eye on them. We know that in all of those categories, adversaries are investing to e either control supply chains for them, like think about the supply chain for chip manufacturing, for example, but these other industries as well create avenues for adversaries to actually disrupt American global economic um, superiority or strength, and they're seeking to undermine it. So we really have to keep an eye on all of those technology areas. I think there's going to be a lot more partnering going on. There's going to be a lot more integration of these technologies. Uh, cybersecurity obviously continues to be critical. Certainly we've seen that here in space. We've all worked uh, to protect ourselves uh, against attack and everyone really is trying to work to raise their game. Uh, we're seeing some interesting stuff in quantum computing. A number of our partners are using, using our network to deliver quantum keys. Um, we're obviously being used in autonomous systems these days. Uh, you need a lot of communications if you're going to have a system that doesn't have someone in the ship, the truck, the aircraft, whatever it might be. And so Iridium is a is a rate, is a good technology to embed in in one of those things. You think of where we were just you know a few years ago with you know 3G, then 4G, and now you got 5G. Kind of you know opens the door to autonomy and a few other areas. 6G is just on the horizon. You've got you know, AI, and a lot of people are talking now of edge AI, and you've got the edge to cloud and edge to data center. So I think really bringing a lot of compute and intelligence out to the edge is what you're seeing a lot of companies, including Intel, really focused on. You know, from a mission perspective, if you think about it, that starts to open up things like smart cities. It opens up things like, like you know, a warfighter being able to get the intelligence you know, at, at the front line as opposed to back at a data center somewhere else. So there's huge advantages to it, but you need the technology to be able to do that. And that's where a lot of the, the things we're working on in these areas will focus and drive forward. There are significant IT and digital modernization challenges that agencies are facing. And, uh, in, and the federal civilian world where we operate, because we don't really operate um, in the, in, call it the military systems aspect of the defense community um, or the intelligence community. Um, but the civilian world and others are turning to companies like Maximus for technology capabilities like agile development, um, certainly cloud migration. I think in many ways people hear about FedRAMP and they assume that the federal government has largely already migrated to the cloud. But in fact, my understanding is it's the vast minority of agencies and departments that have made that migration. So hybrid cloud computing and being able to deploy customer environments into a hybridized cloud environment is going to be a big thrust, um, not just in the next year, but over the next three to five years, we think. Then, of course, there's the importance of the data sciences and data analytics. And, you know, we call that area information intelligence and how, how the greater use of um, techniques like artificial intelligence and machine learning can build better decision support tools for our customers to use as they transform their agencies to meet their mission requirements as they continue to evolve. One area that we're really excited about are the advancements and capabilities that artificial intelligence or AI and data management deliver for our customers. Our customers need automation, artificial intelligence, and machine learning to gain mission insights from the literally petabytes of data being generated.